Where does the atmosphere end? The short answer to this is that it's impossible to say because the atmosphere just fades away. The atmosphere gets thinner the higher you go because it has mass and the Earth has gravity. At sea level, it's rich and dense and full of nourishing air, but at an altitude of 100,000 kilometers, it's so thin you'd be lucky to bump into a single molecule. It's like a badly made soup where all the good bits have sunk to the bottom. So let's start at the bottom. For the purposes of science, the atmosphere is divided into layers, the first of which is called the troposphere. It's deeper at the equator than it is at the poles because of the Earth's spin, and it extends from sea level to between 9 and 17 kilometers. This is where all the weather is, it's where most aeroplanes fly, and it's where we live and breathe. It contains 80% of the Earth's atmosphere by mass. Next up is the stratosphere, extending to about 50 kilometers. This is where the ozone layer is found, and it was from up here at an altitude of 39 kilometers that Felix Baumgartner made his record-breaking skydive. At the top of the stratosphere, atmospheric pressure is only one thousandth what it is at sea level. Above that is the mesosphere, extending to about 85 kilometers. There is still enough air in the mesosphere to burn up most meteors heading towards Earth, fortunately, and it is also the coldest part of the atmosphere, with an average temperature of minus 85 degrees Celsius. Finally, we arrive at the thermosphere. The atmosphere is now so thin that an oxygen molecule will bimble along for around a kilometer before bumping into another one. This is where the International Space Station hangs out. Space officially begins at the Kármán line, 100 kilometers above the Earth. Here, the air is too thin to support conventional aircraft, so above the Kármán line, aeronautics become astronautics and pilots become astronauts. But humans are in trouble long before that. The Armstrong line, at 19 kilometers, is the height at which atmospheric pressure is so low that your body fluids would boil at normal body temperature. Hence the need for pressurized spacesuits. But even then, you would have died from oxygen starvation or hypoxia. In fact, the habitation limit for humans is an altitude of just 5.5 kilometers. That's where the usable atmosphere ends. Or, to put it another way, if you stood Manhattan Island on its end, three quarters of its inhabitants would perish. If you've enjoyed this discussion of the atmosphere and where it exactly ends, please subscribe. You can do it here, I think, or it might be there. I can't actually tell because I'm in a green screen studio. It could be up there, but anyway, it'll be very obvious. It'll be like a button-shaped thing and it'll say subscribe. So touch that or click it with your mouse.